my goodness! We're here! We Captain are! Captain Dove! We're here! It's you and me, baby! That's right! I'm looking far and wide, across the stars, to land us what's going on into September! With you, my boy, Brandon Lou, yeah, Brandon Lou. I've been looking forward to looking forward with you and everybody watching. Thank you for joining us. We are checking out everything in September. Uh, I'm very excited because my birthday's in September. I'm a Virgo, Woo! baby. Virgo. Let's, let's, not, let's not waste any time. Let's get started. Let's see what I can unwrap on my birth month. All these All right. gifts for you. All right. Let's All begin right. with September 2nd. Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power coming out on Amazon Prime. There's some uh, debate going on here. There's mm. people excited because last month, Game of Thrones uh, released their their prequel series. They House they shot the, their load real quick. They were like skeet skeet, you know. The people are excited. <laughs> the people are having a good time. They're making big numbers. HBO's uh, biggest debut. In history, uh, right? for, yeah, yeah. So, can Amazon Prime match that energy? Because Lord of the Rings is also a prequel, it's thousands of years before uh, uh, Tolkien's The Hobbit. You know, so this yeah. is it's prequel versus prequel. Yeah, and Do you have a preference? Prequel. Oh, this is tough because, like, you know, though I love Lord of the Rings and it's like a family bonding thing. We used to watch it every Christmas. There also aren't as many stories that you can really like dive into, though the mythos is large. It's not, I feel like, like Tolkien, even though he was the originator, uh, R.R. Martin was able to really put you into this vast world with so much mythos and small quandaries, even though it's taking him decades to finish the story. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I really like what they've done with the Lord of the Rings, where you know, you have swords that light up when there's certain villains around and there's these objects that have power and give power and have other like purposes or special armor. It's more like your standard role playing game. Whereas uh, Game of Thrones, there's no like sword that saves everybody. They have the one uh, sword that's supposed to do it, that you stab your love in the heart and it becomes a sword of fire. But like that never really happened and yeah that kind of sucks so they don't really have as much as like stuff going on that like special quest items so to speak i if you haven't figured it out i'm really into rpg games and i'm like pretty much lining up how they play out so uh well, story you, wise you and, I, mm -hmm. you and i were talking about this uh before you know the lights came on and the camera said go uh we neither of us really know too much about what's going on nope. in uh in this series so <laughs> it's right. going to be it's going to be interesting you know knowing where the story is headed of course but mm -hmm. not knowing exactly which uh what each episode will bring there's always more room for high fantasy in my life yep so i'm i'm excited to take a look amazon prime lord of the rings there's been a lot of hype for yep. a couple of years now it's finally happening now let me ask you know, what else is finally happening oh what, what were you gonna ask me? let me ask you do you think the quality because uh what's his name he's not filming he's not uh directing peter jackson do you think it's right. gonna have that same quality or do you think this is gonna be a lot neater like a lot trimmed lord of the rings i don't know like you this is going to be changed a bit because it's episodic in nature. So, whereas, whereas uh, uh, we saw in the previous movies, like even that was trimmed. You know, you could either watch the three hours in the movie theater, or you could watch the extended cut mm -hmm. at home, and then eventually the extended cut was released in theaters. And but this is going to be like you know, forty-five, fifty-minute, you know, episodes. Yeah. And I gotta have a beginning, middle, and end to each episode. So it's right. gonna be a little different. The pacing is gonna be a little different. Um I think it'll I think it'll be all right. Um all right. Uh, it's I'm gonna be it. different though. It is yeah. it's, it, there's no way it could be the same. The pacing is gonna be completely different from what we saw 
uh, back when I was working in a Lowe's theater. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. Lowe's theater. Wow. That yeah, yeah. Happened. Before AMC just bought that it. shit out. Yeah, yeah. I used yeah. to love them because they had the big squishy seats. I really like Lowe's. I miss them. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> well, next on the docket, September 2nd, uh, September 4th. I'm sorry. Just two days later, Rick and Morty season six. Season five. Let's see. See, I, it, it, it's, it looks like I'm lying to you. Season <laughs> six on September 4th drops on Adult Swim. Uh, uh, I'm really hyped for it. I never know what I'm going to get out of Rick and Morty. Sometimes we get seasons that are just random, you know, and then we have seasons like season five where it's just so lore heavy. And the way that season five ended with, uh, you know, Evil Morty mm. uh, basically just releasing, yes. you know, breaking the <laughs> yes. breaking the barrier to, 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 to all these other universes, jumping into a yellow portal. Uh, I, I don't know what to expect. What, what Do you have any idea what the multiverse is going to be like? I fixed it. A, uh... Oh, thank you. We... <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, when you have the Council of Ricks, like, done with now, and now you have the ultimate Morty, so to speak, kind of taking over evil to corporate Morty, um, they're going to have to pull some big shenanigans. Rub it up, dub! To kind of, like, overcome him because he's, like, equivocal to Rick. With his... But I feel like evil Morty already accomplished what he wanted to do. Yeah, like are they? Does, they does stop people them. Morty want more? Are there? Are, I'm wondering what the repercussions of his actions were. Mm -hmm. We now have universes where Rick isn't the smartest guy, right? You know, uh, uh, and these dimensions are, I imagine, dimensions we're going to come into contact with eventually. Mm. This should be pretty. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. I mean, the whole thing could be just like, you know. Morty taking Morty on an adventure? I don't know. It could mm -hmm. be. It, it's going to be exciting. I can't wait. And and the guy, the guy is just fantastic. He's been doing this for six years now, and I have not been disappointed. Some seasons are better than others, but I haven't been disappointed. And there's always a really good belly laugh with the show. So I'm here for it. And shout out to my man Mark Malman, who did the uh, song for Planetina Flowers. And you can check him out on another show, but we'll mention that later. <laughs> well, we'll see the uh, final, not the final, we'll see what happens after the release of the central finite curve, mm. the multiverse <laughs> of madness, Rick and Morty version. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> it was better than, than uh, uh, you know, Doctor Strange, too. <laughs> Next up, Cobra Kai season five. I got it right on Netflix. Yes, kudos. I knew Woo. I knew you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> it drops on September 9th on Netflix. Uh, I'm a big Cobra Kai guy. How about Me you, Joe? I love it. And the return of Chosen, you got the Slickster um coming over and taking over the Cobra Kai dojo, throwing his buddy in jail. He saved him and Nam. And then I'm gonna throw your ass in jail. Rick Silver is so evil. That he threw his homeboy, saved his life in jail. All that money just ruins people. And yeah, it's I, I'm excited for it. You know, I actually was not a fan of Karate Kid Three. No, uh, it was not. It was just wasn't anything that I hold close to my heart. Mm. I had the action figures uh, for a Karate Kid. I watched the Karate Kid Saturday morning cartoon. Um, Karate Kid 1 and 2 was my jam. Yeah. I didn't really care for number 3. Huh. Uh, but seeing... But I there's just this magnetism to seeing Terry Silver uh, uh, just performing, watching him. We got to watch him transform from this really kind of muted individual to someone who let the... Old uh, ways return? Out. Yeah, oh yeah. my goodness. It's, yeah, he, he really flipped it. It, it, it's wild. It's seeing him be a threat to the valley. Yeah. Cobra Kai, now the number one dojo, the only dojo in the yeah, valley. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what is Miyagi-Do going to do? <laughs> I 
I guess they're gonna practice in the woods or something. Yeah, and uh, we, we, uh, we, I we, love the fact that Terry Silver, the guy who plays Terry Silver, is actually a karate instructor, for real. So yeah. that's gonna be a fun. I didn't know that. That's oh, you cool. didn't know that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, he's a real, he's a real deal. It's really cool. Yeah. Right? And Pat Mirada didn't know karate. <laughs> We're, we're also going to see Billy Zapka. Mm. Uh, uh, we're going to go see him and Miguel. I know it's just weird that I said Billy Zapka's real name and then Miguel's <laughs> yeah, right. acting name. Um, but we're going to see them go to uh, find Miguel. Miguel is looking for his father right. in Mexico. It'd be dope if it's like a circle back and it's Terry Silver. I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be such a cool loop. <laughs> yeah. Look, apparently Miguel's dad works for uh, the cartel. Oh, he's the cartel. We'll, we'll see. Ooh. It's getting real. It's, it's getting, getting real. real in Cobra Kai. Wow. And it's going to take all of the eagle fangs possible <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to help Miguel out in this situation. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting season. I'm hyped for it, um, and, and I'm glad you are too. Let, yeah, that's gonna be fun. September shaping up to be real nice. Yeah. Continuing, September thirteenth, Clerks three. Snooch to the motherfucking nooch. <laughs> You're hyped for this. I am. I am. And, yeah. And I love Clerks since the first one because I used to work at a a retail store, so a lot of these things like ran true to me, rang true to me. Like when the customers ask you, even though there's banners everywhere that sell you the price, and they pick it up and go, "How much is this?" It's like seriously, it's right there. It says ninety nine cents. Like there's so many tropes that they bring up that's so great. And uh, when his, I mean, there's a lot of great jokes. A lot of them are naughty. And my girl Rosario Dawson is back. You can't go wrong yeah, with Rosario. There's a couple of returning faces, including yeah. Ben Affleck. Batman himself. Yeah, it's funny because like I wasn't I didn't know whether we'd see him and Kevin Smith reunite again. They've had a very public I don't want to say they fell out in public, fell off in public, but Kevin Smith has been very open about their relationship not being what it once was. Right. So knowing that you know, uh, Ben Affleck will be returning, and it looks like they're mending the fences, extending of uh, olive branches, whatever you want to call it. It's nice to see Ben Affleck showing up in Clerks. Yeah. And, and in this one, they're making a movie about the store, very much how the original was a movie about the store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I assure you, we're uh, open. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. I'm sure uh, Billy will probably really enjoy this because he emulated a lot of his online presence and some of his writing and drawings off of Clerks. So uh, expect to hear Billy uh, Mangasm when Clerks 3 comes out. <laughs> Good for Billy. We all deserve a Mangasm every now and then. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Now, how do you feel yeah, about Clerks? Do you? Oh, I, mean, it's I honestly, I, 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 I don't have a lot of feelings about it. Okay. Uh, the 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 even though it made it to the looking forward, Clerks Three was not one of the ones I voted for. We got a yeah. full team here. Yeah. On the spectrum. Yep. And I didn't pick. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I did like the first one. Um, okay. Because it was different. It was, right. it, it was different. Uh, and I don't know. I didn't see Clerks Two. I don't know if it necessarily had the same vibe, that independent vibe of the first one. You know, the first one takes place, you know, just in that one area. Yeah. You know? we're, we're either in the store, outside of the store, on the rooftop of the store, but... Right. I mean, they know, did go to a funeral and... Uh, <laughs> they went somewhere else. But the second one, like, broadened the world. But yet, didn't really go too far. It was they stayed in the burger place. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it it was just very random. It gave birth to uh, a lot of up and coming actors. You know, yeah. everybody. You know, it, it's a uh, so it was it had this nice flavor to it that I really enjoyed. 
But when part two came out, not that there was anything wrong with part two, it looked funny in the trailers. Mm -hmm. But I guess because it didn't have that same vibe, uh, I, I've been open in other episodes about being someone who likes watching things at home. Yeah. And so when it came out in theaters, it just wasn't one of the things that I was spending money on. That mm. was that was uh, why I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. I just <laughs> Clerks three, Clerks three. I it's nice seeing that whole crew back together again. Yeah. Uh, and so I do have a vague interest in it. Yeah. Um, but it's not going to be on like, the I, first I, opening no, day no, type no. of yeah yeah. No, uh, but Kevin Smith, I like Kevin Smith. And mm -hmm. like in general, I like Kevin Smith. I like his comics more than anything else. Gotcha. Um, I have his Green Arrow series. So I hear you. I've I've read the Green Arrow series. And I thought it was excellent. Not the whole not not, not the whole series. I read no. uh the one featuring uh Onomatopoeia, a character okay. that he created. Yeah. Uh and I read a couple of Batman runs that he's done. Mm -hmm. Uh a li little bit of Daredevil. Oh. And so I enjoy his writing, I enjoy his brand of humor. So I'm um, I'm I'm looking forward to Clerks three, but I'm probably not going to check it out until I see Clerks two at home. Yeah, and then and then and then, then maybe. maybe I'll go maybe. to the for Clerks three. All right. Well, but I know there's a couple other people on the team. Sorry, audience. I know that this is looking forward, and I just admitted that Clerks three is not really my bag. <laughs> not I'm looking sorry. forward to. <laughs> <laughs> I just ruined the whole premise of the show. Nah, but we're good. gonna keep I, it going. Well, I look forward to it. So there's half. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm glad. It, it's the spectrum, baby. You're on yeah, one end, right, up on the other. other. Totally, Blame totally. it on the spectrum. Word, word. <laughs> All right. Keeping it going. Uh, my birthday, September twenty first. I get a gift. And it is the gift of Star Wars. Star Wars Andor. Da -da -da. Pew, pew, yes. pew, pew, pew. Now this I'm hyped for. This yeah. I'm very excited for. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going back to see what happened in the events prior to Rogue One. Feature my man Diego Luna. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm hyped for Andor. Where is Diego Luna from? from camera? <laughs> it's okay. Where is he from again? Is he from? Is he a Spaniard? I don't. Or? I, don't uh, or I is do, he believe, just I do believe he's of Hispanic descent. Oh, but okay. I do not know his exact his whereabouts. Locale, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I left that man alone. I didn't. Know <laughs> I mean, I, I'm super excited about it because Rogue One has been one of my favorite Disney films that they've done for Star Wars. Absolutely. Since the, the, the buyout had happened. Um, I did not. I liked The Force Awakens, and then I just feel like it fell off further and further after that. And then I really started to like avoid Star Wars until Mandalorian came, and then it brought me back in. And uh, yeah, because it, you know, Rogue One was so good. It was like, wow, you know, I always didn't realize that they were this close to losing, you know, just because. Yeah. Of a door, you know what I mean? Like, if that door would have stayed locked, that'd be it. The Empire would have won. They would have never, <laughs> they would never handle it. And that's and the game was one of the most insane lightsaber scenes to date. So much so that the Mandalorian ripped it off, but like switched it. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy the homework, but I'm gonna make it a little bit different so that nobody notices. Uh, by the Mandalorian. You mean the only cool episodes of Boba Fett, right? Is that? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Boba. Yeah, the Mandalorian. Yeah, that, that was the Mandalorian. Yeah, it was a continuation. I Mandalorian two point five. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was no, no. Uh, uh, agreed. I Diego, not Diego Luna, but uh, Andor. I, I I keep saying the wrong thing. Rogue One kind of set the standard for what we kind of all hope Disney Star Wars would be. Mm -hmm. uh, and not every movie or show has hit the mark. But it's the reason I have, I guess, faith in or keep some sort of faith in the direction Disney goes. Because right. Rogue One was so good, in my opinion, with such interesting characters that I enjoyed. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of these characters again. Yeah. Even though there's not too many repeated characters from Rogue One, it's going to be 
you know, only Diego and everybody else is kind of like new. I know Alan Tudyk will be there, and so I'm expecting to see his droid somewhere. Well, he's not listed, but we'll see. But, oh, no, but, but I know he's there. I he's know. there. He's, he's there. Coming. And Skarsgård is sneak in. Up on Scar- yeah. Yeah. There's Stellan Skarsgård's in. You can't go wrong with him. Mm-hmm. And, and we've got our Mon Mothma premiere with this season, so... I'm super excited for it. I'm here. I got my lightsaber somewhere. I'm ready. <laughs> well, we'll get ready to light it up because it's a whole Star Wars like month. Yeah. Remember, because right after, just right after, uh, uh, we we do Andor on September 28th. We have Star Wars: The Bad Batch season two. Ooh, that was a fun one. Yeah, th- this is going to be crazy. It's, I feel like sometimes these shows do a better job of tying things together than the movies do. Mm. Because what we're going to look at, you know, we're following these clones who had uh, like a mutation that has mm-hmm. prevented them from following Order 66. Right. And we're still following like it's not clone wars but we're still kind of following the aftermath of clone wars and everyone involved in it so right now we're we're still following the 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 the, the empire has captured one of the people who made the clones right i think it's like alana sue something like that yeah, <laughs> you know uh yeah and, yeah yeah just yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I knew her name. You know the one. Yeah. But uh, uh, I believe that this, you know, the Empire Camino. has an interest in Camino. clone technology. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Has an interest had, in the clone technology. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Go ahead. Because uh, Lana Sue sounded like some country girl's name. It's like Lana Sue. <laughs> but, uh, but we are going to see the. Uh, that the empire has interest in cloning technology and this will probably help tie us into the return of emperor palpatine oh uh, yeah i forgot about that yeah because that we last wanted movie was to forget so... about it yeah exactly it was like yeah. uh, not again you know yeah but i yeah. feel like this movie will do a better job i mean i'm sorry this show will do a better job of tying the movie together do you think that so the Clone Wars series end made me appreciate Revenge of the Sith a lot more. Do you think that Bad Batch will give you that paste that you need to stick it and really enjoy the uh, modern I, Star Wars? I don't think that I need it to enjoy it. Because mm. it was so bad, it's just not going to happen. The, the, the... <laughs> We're at a point now, I try to look at it as a comic book fan. I try mm-hmm. to look at it whereas there's just certain titles that I'll be able to just watch and enjoy. And I don't have to watch everything in Star Wars canon, you know? Yeah, yeah um, true. I, true. I just don't have to. I'll watch the things I want to watch. And hopefully the things that come out, it's a big universe. Yeah. And hopefully I'll just be able to enjoy everything on their own. Yeah. But I share your feelings about... Uh, like for me, whether it's Mandalorian or even Boba Fett, you know, not Boba Fett, uh, Kenobi. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed that. Was good. Me, that was very good. Yeah, Kenobi helped me enjoy uh, the whole prequel series mm. because I feel like we got, I feel like we got some more information, more understanding of Anakin's perspective, their relationship. And, and and I do feel like while I don't need to watch the show with the intent of connecting it to the movies, Mm -hmm. I do think that it benefits the movies in the long run, having these connecting television series. Um, So that if you choose to watch them in order, whether you're marathoning it or just for yourself, just, just, I feel like watching everything in Star Wars in order, you know? Yeah. I think the show helps. And I don't think 
if you're a movie fan and you don't watch the series, I think you're missing out a lot. I think I think watching the show is important. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> now we're not done. We nope. have one more. There's a lot of things coming out in September, but this was the final choice. Looking forward for <laughs> the Spectrum Sanctorum. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Hocus Pocus 2. A month Ladies returns. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The Sanderson sisters are out here just ruining Salem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this this is a amok. long time coming. Disney saw the memes. They saw the tweets. They saw all of the social media nostalgia posts. And they have gathered Bette Midler, uh, uh, Kathy... Uh, they Nelson, have resurrected and Bette Midler. Sarah just, and Sarah, how dare you? <laughs> she is a national treasure. She is, she is. And Sarah Jessica Parker, <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw herself. Well, I can't believe Carrie came, came back. back. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised. Uh, uh, yeah, because I don't normally see her unless it's another Sex in the City movie. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Sex in the City, yeah. Monkeypox. <laughs> no, Sex and the City, not yeah. in the city. Did I say uh, in? Oh, okay. Uh, some people get it mixed up. Yeah. Got, gotta, gotta make sure that uh, you don't get Mandela affected over. Yeah, there. that's right. Uh, <laughs> the the Sanderson sisters are back. Uh, and I think there's a potential for this sequel to be better than the original. I agree. They've got, uh, they've got agree. a much bigger budget. Yep. You know, uh, got it, really it, good it, writers it, now. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful that this is more than just a nostalgia bug. I, I hope it actually transcends everything that we know and love or hate to love how whatever end you come for this because dove's not a hocus pocus fan <laughs> <laughs> i as as a theater major i know nothing but hocus pocus fans you yeah know, uh, you know i remember being in the break room and and, and seeing people talking about it and, mm -hmm. like it's it's uh it's a lot of fun i'm looking forward to it I, I didn't even know I was looking forward to it until I saw that it was coming. And I was like, oh, wow, it's here. Like, it's yeah. actually Halloween is coming. Yeah. We're a little early. This is dropping in September. Like, I'm secretly hyped for Hocus Pocus. I didn't realize how hype I would be until I realized it was here. And well, here we are. Yeah. I mean, it's the only reason why I'm keeping on my Disney Plus. Cause she Hulk wraps <laughs> up and then I'm like, what do I do? And then Hocus Pocus. What do like, oh, I do? Okay. <laughs> what do I do? No. no. No, I'm ready to cancel. <laughs> Wait, Hocus Pocus is coming? That's right. Keep me in. You have Stop. earned my, yeah. you've earned my 10 bucks a month. There you a go. A little more than that if you got the whole package. Yeah, I, I'm, I switched to the whole package. So I get yeah, the Hulu. Watch I get the ESPN. Hulu. No, I, I don't watch the ESPN, but I do the Hulu. The Hulu is fun. Because I get no, to watch Hulu. the Hulu because the Hulu has <laughs> what, we, what we do with the shadows. And what I, do I do with the Hulu? <laughs> you remember the Hulu? You remember the Hulu? The Hulu has what we do in the shadows. So there's actually a lot of good stuff on Hulu that I think it's uh, doesn't get the love. You know, yeah, the Hulu is between special. Prey. Yeah, Prey um, was what we dope. Do in the shadows. Yeah. Um, and uh, what we do in the shadows in this building? So, nothing we murders oh. in this building is um my flag means our flag means death on Hulu as well. No, that's on HBO Max. Oh, oh well, but no we'll reason. see how long that lasts. I have, I have no clue what's happening with HBO Max anymore. Oh yeah, um, I do want to tighten of change. Yeah. So 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 this was not on our list, but uh -oh. we're, we're we're just under a half hour, so I want to say it. Uh, Quantum Leap. Reboot is, is September and it's, it's happening this September. Quantum Leap, we, we didn't prep for this, uh, but but I felt like it needed to be talked about. Quantum Leap reboot September 19th. 
I'm sorry to anyone who was looking forward to it and thought we were going to talk about it. I'm looking forward. I just want you to know that I'm aware it's out there. Uh, were you a Quantum Leap fan? I was. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. How you I feeling? Will. Like, I, I know people get reboot angry. How you feeling uh, about this? No, I, I don't get reboot angry. You know why? Because, you know, Ernie Hudson is going to be in it. And I think that man is a national treasure. And, <laughs> you know, just because his son and I share a birthday. And, and I'm always Have happy no, to see no him. Effect? No, no, I'm not going to have that reboot. So, yeah, there we go. Quantum Leap. The reboot. And it's got that girl from uh, the Harry Potter movies. So, you know, we can't go wrong. Yeah. It's, yeah. the, it's gonna be on the Crazy Hulu. One. It's gonna be on the Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man. The Hulu. So, so 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 thank you for including that one. Yeah. We weren't gonna do it. We were just gonna do the seven, but I just saw that we were under a half hour. Yeah. Um which one are you look is there a show here that you're looking forward to the most? Ooh, the most probably Andor, then Lord of the Rings. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, for me, it might actually be Hocus Pocus. Because that's might my really theory. be Hocus Pocus. Oh wow! Look at that. That's funny. It might. It might really be. Um, no, but I, I. I know in in this house right here, Rick and Morty. There's a lot of hype for Rick and Morty. Yeah. And then privately on my own, mm -hmm. when 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 everybody's asleep and i woke up early yeah i could get a chance to just watch something on my own mm -hmm. uh probably cobra kai like i feel really? like, like, wow. I feel like that's, i feel like that's my guilty pleasure series yeah I hear that. i'll be honest with you i don't think it's always that great <laughs> no some of the episodes are like okay wrap it up let's go but no no, no. oh my god the 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 larusso's daughter Oh yeah, sometimes uh, she's the total like, you know, you're starting this whole problem. Like she, oh my god, I feel like they want her to be like our protagonist. You know, they want us to root for her, but she starts so much of the yeah, all of the Larusos, the whole Larusso family. Yeah, even the kid, the little kid, the little brother, he was starting shit. Yeah, too. yeah. And, 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 and so I get annoyed with it sometimes. But I secretly love it. Like yeah, I hate I, it and it's I love a, it all at once. Yeah, yeah. Guilty pleasure. So, yeah. so <laughs> with with everybody else, Rick and Morty, my number one. But privately, by mm -hmm. myself, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. And, and <laughs> I can't wait for Andor, Andor. But uh, you know, I'm gonna have a lot of fun watching. Clerks three when it comes out, it'll probably just be myself in the theater, because <laughs> uh, you know. No, no, no. I I think there'll be others. I don't know yeah. how many others, but yeah. I. Think oh, then again, I do live in Jersey, so it might be pretty crowded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So that said, there are far more than these seven in that lucky eighth one that I included in prompt two. Mm -hmm. uh, there are far more movies coming out. Did we leave the movie you're looking forward to most? Uh, out of this countdown uh, if so let us know in the comments which movie you're looking forward to let us know which of the eight that I spoke about today me, me and Captain Dove uh, let us know if you are hyped for the movies and shows that we're looking forward to uh, let me know if you're a Cobra Kai fan let me know if you're looking forward to Hocus Pocus tell me everything and of course you can keep you know keep aware of everything else we're looking at uh, by hitting that subscribe button, hitting the alarm will just give you an alert every time we drop a new video. And we got a lot of good shows here. Yeah. In the Spectrum Sanctorum. I'm Brandon Lou, Brandon Lou. That's Circle. Captain Dove. And we will see you in Next September. <laughs>